Good morning, crafty friends. So I have finally figured out which tripod I want. It's actually not a tripod. It's going to be a um, camera holder, phone holder that's got an arm extension that connects to my craft table here. So I thought I would go ahead and show you my wedding album. I got married 15 years ago and finished this album a couple years ago. So a lot of the pages, uh, pieces that I have, I bought before we even got married. There's like some laser cuts that I bought at the scrapbook store and um, some stickers that I don't even know if you can get anymore. But I'm going to go ahead and show it to you anyways because I know when I was trying to do my wedding album, I looked for lots of inspiration and had a hard time finding it. So I kept this entire album in black and white and our wedding colors. And I'll show you that as I go through. So this is the paper that I used all throughout. It is um, by Die Cuts with a View. It has some foil enhancements. And it's the Bella Armour Stack. Okay. And I believe I got this at Michael's. So that's the paper. My album is just a, a leather black album that I got from Creative Memories and it has the, um, oh, not the ring band, but the strap bands and all the pages um, are black. Um, and I did that on purpose. So when it, with Creative Memories you could get white pages and I believe they, you still can, but I got it in black. So um, also to protect the identity of uh, multiple people throughout this album. I used washi tape to cover up our last name and uh, any other types of names. So here we go. So Mr. and Mrs. and our last name was cut out on the silhouette and then um, most of the pages get closer throughout the album are done in two shades of purple. So eggplant and then a light uh, like a lavender you'll see later and this crimson red. And both of these papers, all the papers, were done by Recollections, um, found at uh, Michael's. So this is our introduction page. Pretty simple. This is um, our invitation page. So I cut out, you are invited. And then it has our invitation, which covering up personal information. Our uh, directions that the facility gave us to pass it, put into our, invita our uh, invitation, our thank you card, and our RSVP card. And as you can see, it's just simply done. This is our gr my groom page. This is one of those laser cuts that I got from the scrapbook store. And then I cut out this uh, tuxedo here from Silhouette, and then here's that paper from Die Cuts of the View, and then I did have this paper here as a 6x6 six six pad um, that I used. The colors went well, so I liked it. I don't know if I still have it. Let me see. Yes, so it came from this paper here. Uh, Latte Stack Premium Stacks uh, let's see, Die Cuts with the View also. Okay, so that's where that those papers came from. And then um, I did his in black and white because he was wearing black, uh, a darker color. I wanted him to pop out more. And then mine black and black because, again, I wanted my dress to pop out more. And this is a laser cut from the scrapbook store. And this dress here, I cut off the silhouette. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's on pearlized paper. You can kind of see there. And so I really like that paper. And again, simple. Okay. A time to celebrate. I uh, wrote and created on my silhouette. All throughout the album, you will see, oh, these are Nuvo drops. Uh, just simple little Nuvo drops. You'll also see um, rhinestones all throughout the album. This is our wedding facility. So um, just simple cloth napkins with a rosemary sprig and a little uh, Hershey Kiss flower that we made. And these are the reception area, our tables. This over here is our uh, aisle that we walked down, the arch in front of the waterfall and pool that we set our vows, 
and then the back of the house when we got married with our guests. So these are our flowers. I wanted to um, remember our flowers. I loved the color. We got married in November, so they're fall color flowers. And so this is my wedding bouquet. And I typed um, our flowers out of this light purple and these rhinestones just tucked up there. And then um, my flower girl, because she's so young, I want her in some light uh, lilac rose roses. And then the girls, they carry the darker flowers. Our groomsmen and um, ushers, those are their bouquets. Or, uh, what do they call it a corsage for a guy? I'm not even sure. Um, a cutout of a flower and this little flourish. I believe these came off of um, a cricket cartridge, but I'm not sure which one. Maybe Reminous Accents, I think is what it came off of. Let me see. Yes, so it came off of this cartridge here, in case you guys want to recreate it. Just added some bling and then just more flowers throughout the facility. Okay, so here is our guest book attendance and our guest signing our guest book. Found this cute little guest book thing sticker. Um, blocking off their names for privacy reasons. But again, simple black and white, all from that uh, paper cut. This is our program. And then these are the roses that we laid out in memory of my husband's parents who had uh, passed on. So there's that page. This is us getting ready. So I just have these little gold accent stickers um, that I have all throughout the album. So they're butterflies butterflies and then here it says bridesmaids and again that eggplant paper carrying through and then for the men I wanted a little more masculine look so I used a black and white plaid but I added the eggplant up here just to tie it in with both pages and the butterfly sticker in gold and the sticker says taking the plunge all right so those are that page Here are um, our brothers walking down the matrons of our family. So my grandma, my mother, and his aunt and his uncle. And this is his aunt and my mother lighting the candle. This here and this I typed out on uh, my silhouette and cut out. Same for family matrons. This here, I got this candle sticker years ago. It's actually not a sticker. It's a, you can look at it, it's laser. Cut. and then it had a bow that I didn't like so I had these 3d uh, stickers with vellum as you can see there's a little vellum right there. and then it's 3d the thickness so I just replaced it with that okay there we are getting ready to walk down the aisle and walking down the aisle Kept that same masculine plaid for the guys as they take their places. And then another 3D sticker uh, dove with vellum on it. So, that's it. Here's another laser cut from the scrapbook store. I messed up this page. As you can see, I tore it here and I had to cover it up. And so I just cut a piece of black paper and put it on there. Not the greatest, but. I didn't want to redo the whole page. And this is just one of those pages from the Die Cuts with a View album, or a paper stack, as my dad walks me down the aisle. This here is a vellum uh, seine that I got at a scrapbook store. So I just put it on a uh, light uh, lavender or purple. And then here we are during the ceremony. So that's that page right there. All right, so this one, I just used two pages, the florish page paper and a black and white polka dot. And I just love both of our expressions as we're looking at each other. And then I cut out love 
and this um, metallic gold. I don't know if you can see. Anyways, so there's that page. And then my girlfriend, she uh, read this Why Marriage by Mari Nichols. And so it's a picture of her reading it. And then I wrote out the entire, um, it's not a poem. I don't know what it is. But, so there's that there. Okay, and this is more exchanging our rings. So uh, again, a laser cut that you put together and there. And then here's the rhinestones. And then us exchanging our rings and a uh, solid piece of paper. Again, I just want to keep this, like I said, timeless. The colors just flowing all the way through the album. So here's uh, some stickers that someone had given me at my bridal shower. <laughs> Um, so I stuck them in here, and we're praying, and then, of course, uh, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 6, the love is patient, love is kind, love is not jealous first, and I added uh, rhinestones to all four color, uh, corners. So, there's that. Okay, here we are lighting our unity candle, and my husband happens to be a musician and um, songwriter. And so he wrote and sang the song to our unity candle. He recorded it on a CD so that we could, he didn't have to take time away from us um, to sing it live. And so this song played while we lit our unity candle, and I just wrote out the words to it. And then here, you may kiss the bride. And I believe I got this idea off of um, Pinterest. Um, so I kind of copied this one. But down here it says, love of my life sticker. And I cut out, you may kiss the bride on the silhouette. And then this is the sequence. So here we're looking at each other with anticipation, lifting my veil, our first kiss as husband and wife, our expressions um, after we kissed. <laughs> So, there's that page there. All right. And then our pastor introducing us again. I just used the black paper that it came with and then did the crimson and eggplant um, for photo mats and then introducing Mr. and Mrs. And did the same thing over here and then just added a couple of butterflies. So, there's that. Alright, here's our wedding party. This is a laser cut saying from the scrapbook store. Solid sheet of paper and one photo mat. Some bling here. And just cut a piece of paper in half. There we go. Alright, this page has lots of all their names written down. So I covered them with washi tape, but as you can see, I just uh, put the best man and the maid of honor um, in photo uh, mat, and then the others I just left plain on the paper. And so it says groomsmen, bridesmaids, and then a sticker says maid of honor and best man. Sorry about that. Someone sent me a text. So here's some pictures, our uh, formal um, portraits. This is taken inside the house by the photographer. We were watching our uh, guests enjoying their appetizers. And so he just happened to catch that. And I really like it. My husband's having some water. And uh, I actually have this in a frame because I like it so much. Just simple. Was it even posed? <laughs> and then I just added some rhinestone bling. Just left the let the pictures speak for themselves. Just a few photo mats. This is our family. And I just um, 
the stickers that I had. So this is our family and the um, hearts they love. And then this is a 3D uh, popped up sticker. So pretty simple. I had that love stick uh, sticker there and then one over here. Just kind of tie it all in together. All right, here we are, some more formal portraits. And I added some new bow drops down here and across here. And then there's a sticker, Mr. and Mrs. This is uh, part of that sticker pack that uh, one of my friends gave me at my bridal shower, so I included it. And the back of my dress, it's after it's been tied up after the ceremony. All right, now we're at the reception. So I just cut out first dance. Added some bling, and again, a picture speak for itself. Um, the flowers on our cake were a little brighter than they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be more naturally matching our um, bouquet, but I went with it and uh, added some bright orange paper to kind of highlight the flowers on the cake. And I cut this out on the silhouette, added a few stickers here, and then this sticker um, for my sticker pack. And here you can see the cake. And the cake was delicious, <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> um, Dance with me, cut on the silhouette. These came from the silhouette. They're just some butterfly die cuts I cut out. And then I add stick, uh, stickles to them in the center. So this is my father and I, and my husband's aunt and him. And then we did, instead of, because we were older when we got married, um, we were in our 30s and 40s. So we didn't want to do a bouquet toss. Most of our friends were already married. <laughs> so we did what's called a timeline dance. So, you know, they would say, okay, who's been married for less than an hour? We would walk off the dance area. Who's been married for less than a year? And then it got down to these last three couples. And they had been married for um, 51 years. 55 years and then the winner 60 years so I think that's just a great testament and then we gave them um, the bouquet and a garter so oh, there's that page and then the fun begins <laughs> all the dancing so I typed out or a cutout reception party had these little cutouts that I just cut out and put on here our little tail friendship um, happy definition says uh, a state of contentment the way we feel when we are all together delightful love and one beautiful day so there we are dancing my husband met his uh, friends <laughs> here um, country dancing in fact my husband and I met country dancing actually so uh, we included um, a country dance. My husband knows the name of it. I don't. So the men dance first and then us women dance next. And the men whooped our butts. Way better dancers than us girls. <laughs> and then the very last page. And I just wrote just beginning because this is just the first day of the rest of our lives together. Added some bling. Um, did this cut out, added stickles to the brake lights and to the cans that are hanging behind and uh, just put that in there as we got into the limo to drive away for our honeymoon. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it gives you some inspiration and if you have a wedding album that you've completed, I would love to see it as well. So um, please do a recording and post it on YouTube. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.